so what's up ladies and gentlemen boys and girls my name is hugo and um last night to a thai restaurant with my cousin for dinner and while i was there i realized something i love being fat and lazy i like to give orders and be served because if i didn't like it i could have made dinner at home servers are important because they are your only line of communication between you and the kitchen and have you ever played the telephone game or uh, the, the Chinese whisper. You don't want to order a pad thai and then end up with a kid's happy meal. You don't want them to mess up. A server is a customer service job and just like any customer service job, it's not easy. Sometimes you get customers that pull up the hair, pick their nose, pull out a dead buck out of nowhere, place them on their food. And why? Because they want a free meal. And then we get people that eat 80% of the meal and then say, I want to return this because it's not what I want really now and don't forget some customers are there to, out to get you not because they have any vanilla against you it's just that they can that's pretty messed up let's say that you let's say they order mac and cheese and you return for mac and cheese but they said they didn't want mac and cheese they wanted a philly cheese stick and you know that fool didn't order a philly cheesecake but f for the sake of providing great service you came back with a philly cheesesteak Yet again, the dude lied and said, yo, I ordered steak mac and cheese. What is this? And at this point, the manager's gonna be involved into this. And if you have a good manager, he'll back you up and kick that guy out. But if your manager sucks, he'll tell you to apologize to the jackass. If they do, quit. Most servers I met are usually girls, 60% of the time. And uh, I'm pretty sure they get it worse. Cause you know, guys may or may not include me, are scumbags. If you're a girl, a server, sometimes uh, you're being flirted. That's fine because if you play your cards right, you probably get more tip. But scumbags can go too far sometimes. Sir, would you like to get some dessert? Well, what do you have? Uh, cheesecake, chocolate cake, apple pie, gelato, cappuccino. Give me a big fellatio, baby. What the f and then there's kids i'm sorry but kids are either smart or dumb smart kids won't play around in, an, in a dangerous environment but dumb kids will like imagine a server with like hot plates hot drinks sometimes even with like steak knives and forks and then um god forbid a dumb kid bumps into the server and you don't know what a server has in his hands or in his plate for all, for, all, for all we know, it could be a hot clam chowder. And then, because of the bump, accidentally, the, the clam chowder accidentally splash into that dumb kid's face. And then the parent blames you for not paying attention and sue the restaurant. And believe me, if there's a dumb kid, there's bound to be a dumb parent. Ma'am, please don't change the baby diaper on the eating table. There's a change station in the restroom. Sir, we don't mind if the baby's loud and crying, but I don't think the baby should be licking that steak knife. Ma'am, I'm sorry, can you drop the baby bottle? No outside food in this establishment, but you can pop out your boob and brush for your child. We believe in organic foods. In America, tipping is very important to servers. Service depends on tips in order to make ends meet. More so than ever, tipping is like a rating system. If the service was average, you give three bucks. If the service was great, you give five bucks. And if the server sucks, don't tip, just pay your bill and leave. Of course, the tip has to be proportional to the actual bill you can't be like uh the bill is like 200 bucks and you're like you no know, two bucks that, that that's not good but no matter how much you're tipping please don't tip in gift cards seriously what am i supposed to do with the victoria's secret gift card and most of all don't waste your food if you can't finish it just wrap it up but be reasonable because i i remember one time a guy had two sushis left on his plate and he asked the server can you wrap my sushi in two different boxes please Two boxes, seriously, even if the server gives you uh, the smallest takeout box, that little takeout box could at least fit six pieces of sushis. And now you want two boxes? What a douchebag. That douchebag was actually me.